Hello learners, Bob Onsted here with another people pleasing haircut to Harvard. Here are examples of this short but full haircut that's been popular for many decades. Harvard is similar to a buzz or butch haircut in that it is almost all cut with clippers. The length can be three quarter inch or as long as an inch. This man's hair is on the fine side, so he likes the three quarter inch cutting. The one inch Harvard works best with medium to coarse textured hair. So there are two Ivy League haircuts. Both are excellent haircuts, popular since the late 1950s. The other Ivy League is called the Princeton. It's cut quite a bit shorter than the Harvard, especially around the sides and back. Both of the Ivy League haircuts are wash and go cuts that refuse to get messy, and they are both fairly easy to cut. In terms of difficulty, I'd give a flat top a score of 10, and a buzz or butch haircut a score of 1. Both Ivy League haircuts get a score of about 5. Anytime the clipper goes through the hair, as you see here, it has to travel against the hair grain, which is best, or at least sideways to the hair grain. You can see the hair grain is downward around the sides and back, and forward towards the front hairline on the top hair. You may have noticed I often comb the side and back hair down before clipping up through the hair. As I cut the top hair and crown region hair, I do more of this type of combing. This combing helps the hair feed into the clipper. The end result is a better, more uniform cutting. So far the clipper work has been pretty easy. Now we get into the hair cutting that will take your full attention. To get the hair around the bottom edges trimmed right, clipper over comb cutting is needed. You can do this cutting with either a wall comb or a barber comb. There are four things to be focused on with this cutting. Number one, position the comb with the back bar on the skin, not up in the hair. Number two, when the comb is positioned right, keep the back bar on the skin as you pivot the tips of the comb's teeth away from the scalp. About a 45 degree angle works well. However, it really doesn't matter if it's 45 degrees or 30 degrees or 50 degrees. What's important is to maintain the same angle for all of your over the comb cutting as you clip around the outline. The third thing you need to focus on is to carefully position the clipper on the comb. Be careful not to push too hard on the comb as the clipper travels across the comb. Pushing too hard can change the comb's angle from the scalp. The fourth and last thing to be aware of has to do with the length of the cutting path you make as the clipper travels over the comb. When you do this cutting on the side of the neck, 
your clipper can travel two to three inches on the comb. But when you're clipping on the curved part of the hairline above the ear, you will shorten your clipper cutting paths to a half inch or so. Cutting around the top of the ear means you'll have to reposition the comb several times and make short cuts. All that cutting around the bottom of the sides, also called the outline, is tapered cutting. The cutting I'm doing on the bottom neck hair is also tapered cutting with the comb held with the same angle as I used on the outline. When it's time for some extra precise cutting, I'll get out my old barber comb. It works good. Now I'm into the attention to details part of the haircut. It's just as important as the edge work or the bulk cutting I did with the attachment. This last part of the haircut doesn't take long to do, but it proves you're a professional with high standards. This short but full haircut is excellent for folks who want shampoo and towel dry hair that ends up looking good no matter if it's windblown, hand combed, or whatever. Both the Princeton and Harvard are low maintenance haircuts, but this is the one for folks who like to see some hair around the sides and back. Because of the way it's cut, that hair will stay in shape for a month or more. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to me and also look over my website, www.traditionalhaircutting.com.